All right, I'm here with Stetson head men's soccer coach T. Logan Fleck. Coach, last year you won the ASUN tournament and played in the NCAAs for the second time in program history. What are your goals for this season? Well, Dean, as you know, better than most, that uh, the, a the ASUN tournament gets to be hosted by the team that wins the regular season. And we last year did a great job of winning the tournament, but we came in second in the regular season. So obviously our first goal is let's win the regular season and try and host the championship here in Deland for the good uh, Stetson fans and then win that of course and continue on to play in the NCAAs and the always goal of every team that takes themselves any serious or not is to do what? Get to the Final Four and win it. So those are our three goals. That's what we're going after. Okay coach, uh, we lost some key seniors to graduation after last season. Uh, which players that are returning this season are you looking to to step it up? Well, you've got some obvious ones, but uh, before we get to those, we've got returning seniors with, uh, you know, Daniel Sackman in the back, Ryan Corning in the back, uh, you know, doing his job. Uh, Giulio Diamori is going to be graduating a defensive midfielder played for us. Those three did a great and outstanding job for us last year. And I think they're going to do the same thing looking forward to this year. We're looking also now for Gonzo Di Mejica. I think it's a breakout year for him. This is a young man that uh, did a lot of giving assists, making other players look better. He's going to, I think, come on now and become more of a, a scorer for us. He's going to find the back of the net. Uh, you've got your obvious ones, Johnny Mendoza. Uh, he was noted last year as a freshman player on the Ice Sun tournament team or the Ice Sun uh, whatever. Johnny's a Mr. Everything for us. This kid is all lightning and energy and now he looks like he's going to secure himself a starting position and we look out for big things from him. And then uh, you know you've got uh, some of the newcomers that will come on after that but the guys there on the you know our goalkeeping position. We got Potter who now, Logan Potter, who came back and did a great job uh, but then uh, we're looking for great things out of the goalkeeping position and you'll I'm sure ask me about the newcomers and that's what leads us to that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh but don't let me forget Frederick Brewstead. I mean, he was picked the preseason of the year, uh, player of the year. I mean, this kid scores goals, and he's very, very fast, and uh, he can take on players at different parts. And this year, we're going to try and add some things where he scores goals from distance. So, you know, Frederick is, is going to push himself, I think, to, to really to another height where he's knowing he's going to be a marked man by all the other teams, and he's still going to have to perform and score goals. You did mention the goalkeeper position. That leads us right into uh, speaking about some of our newcomers for this year. I would say right there <clears throat> is going to be one of the biggest fights for who's going to be starting. We have uh, Andreas Snobel has come in, and you got Dan Billman uh, all fighting very hard to see who's going to be the number one. A very, very important thing, as you noted, we lost Robert Hodge last year, a player of the year and such. Uh, the person who's in that net that is going to be solidifying our back four and, and seeing how we do defensively because that's one of the things we probably overlooked about last year's team is they're very, very good and stingy defensively. How about some of the other position players, new guys? Uh, new players coming in. I, I think I've uh, been very, very happy through preseason. Uh, Rafa Santafanti has been doing extremely well. He can be playing in the back position. He can move up to midfield. Uh, he's been doing some very good things. Uh, Niels DeJonk is a forward. They were looking for good things out of him as far as being able to hit the back of the net. Uh, you know, we have uh, Joa Helen, who's from uh, Norway uh, via transfer from St. John's, and you're looking for him to be a target player. We're replacing two very powerful goal scorers up top, and so therefore we're looking for big things out of them. Um, you know, those, those right there are some of the, you know, we've got other players I think are going to be showing themselves throughout the preseason and then getting into the early stages before we get to the ace on. So uh, we're excited about the new young group we got. Okay, Coach, let's uh, wrap this up by talking a little bit about the uh, upcoming schedule for the season. It's a good one. It's, it's tough. You know, we get into as many, we'll play anyone, anywhere, anytime. Uh, within budget constraints so they don't get me in trouble with that, but we want to play the best soccer we possibly can it <clears throat> Challenge ourselves because you know if you don't you won't get to the level We want to and that is to get into the final four and win it So we're trying to do some things. We're going up to uh, Furman to play in their uh, soccer tournament We're hosting our own again this year and bring in uh, Manhattan from New York to play So we're looking forward to some tough teams and then of course you got the a Sun where you got uh, Jacksonville University and Campbell and uh, you know those teams that are fighting like crazy Mercer who we played last year I'm sure it will be more improved so it'll be a dogfight to see who wins it this year. Great coach well the season kicks off this Wednesday against uh, Johnson and Wales we'll be hosting them right here 7 o'clock at the Stetson Soccer Complex. Mm -hmm. Coach thank you very much and we'll see you out there on the pitch. Look forward to it. See you at the game.